When a coworker of mine offered some free firewood under the condition that if I take it, I take all of it, I didn't know what I was getting myself into. The trunk of the tree you see covered in ivy was uh, the original tulip poplar. It had fallen during a storm and it was cut up uh, by a tree removal company. All of the branches were removed and what was left are these large rounds. Some of them were smaller. But what it measures is four and a half feet by about three feet three inches. So what I had to do was figure out how to turn it into movable pieces. Luckily, I had these cracks that I could exploit with the wedge. I came here the other day without any extra wedges and just used a splitting maul and a hatchet and a hammer and broke my hatchet. Figured it would be good, a good investment to get some of these splitting wedges, so I got two and now I'm just driving them in and trying to use the crack that's already there and split these apart. This isn't necessarily a how-to video, I'm just demonstrating how I did. And you can see in some of these I'm using my rather robust arm strength to drive those wedges in. But it can be uh, more helpful and help you go a lot further if you use the weight of the hammer or um, splitting maul to drive down. So I just switched my gloves out. I was using uh, some work gloves, synthetic work gloves. I switched to leather so the grip would be better. Uh, you also need to make sure that you have eye protection. Safety first. Sometimes the wedges could get stuck if you hammer them in. So having an extra wedge or a pry bar handy can really help you uh, avoid trouble there. There I'm using a little pry bar and applying weight to it so I can get the wedge back out. This log round was huge, uh, bigger than I could manage or roll into the trailer. And by putting the wedges in there, I split the crack a little bit more. Now I'm working on the side, trying to wedge it open a little bit. And it's starting to separate the two halves from each other. You kind of just have to work around to try to get all angles of it and split it apart. At this point they're basically separated except for some strands of wood connecting uh, like tendons or ligaments in the middle there. So I'm just trying to separate those pieces so the rest of it will fall apart. After working at it for a little bit, I have it separated and the two halves can move apart from each other. After a little bit of deliberation with this half, I decided that it would have to wait a minute. I'll get to it. The large half, on the other hand, already has a small crack. Now I'm using a third wedge, which came in handy. And I'm putting the wedges in, and just trying to broaden the gap there. I really love watching it come apart. When I'm doing it, it takes a little bit longer. Speeding up like this is much more satisfying. Uh, this whole process was about uh, 35 minutes. And I'm speeding up here and for about six minutes, working a little bit better. Once I have this side split open, it's still pretty well connected on the other side, so I decided to flip it over 
and work on it from the other side. I'm pretty excited about having all this firewood. One of the things we looked for when we bought our house was a fireplace. Uh, that was one of our top things. Uh, way up there next to no HOA because HOAs are the worst. But now that we have the fireplace, we got to do the work to get the firewood. This process is working really well, just like splitting the main round, but I came into a little bit of difficulty with the connecting pieces between the two halves, just like before. I'll take you over and we'll take a look at what it's like in between them. Basically, it's like connective tissue, and what we see are strands of wood that connect to the top of one side and the bottom of the other, kind of forming a crisscross pattern. And that can be pretty difficult because all of the strands combined add quite a bit of strength. So you just have to work at it and chop away those pieces little by little. If I hadn't already broke my hatchet, I think it would have come in very handy right here. But the job gets accomplished. I had a few large rounds like this that I needed to split up. I also had one long uh, piece that wasn't completely disconnected that I needed to use the chainsaw on. I just needed to get them in sizes small enough that I could roll them into the back of the trailer. The job is finally finished. Here's the wood that we ended up with. I got a good workout out of it. Ultimately, I'm pretty happy. Thanks for watching. Feel free to like this video if you liked it. Subscribe to my channel if you want to. And have a nice day.